Bickley and Murata. Bickley and Murata mornings. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bickley Blast. The Cardinals must really love Kyler Murray or they must really love trolling the media. How else to explain the social media post from our NFL franchise that celebrated Murray as their franchise quarterback just as the football world descends on the NFL Combine in Indianapolis? Yup, the things that make you go... Huh? After all, this is the same team that committed to Josh Rosen on social media before drafting Murray, the team that turned social media affirmation into a kiss of death. Now, there is no doubt that Murray was impressive in his return from major knee surgery. He showed commitment, resilience, toughness, the ability to evolve by taking snaps under center, and by the end of the season, his quarterback metrics look pretty good. But pretty good is not good enough in the NFL, not at that position, and there have been rumors that the Cardinals have done extensive research on Oregon's Bo Nix, who might be available at 26 who I think might be the second best quarterback in this draft. And what if Michael Penix Jr. happens to be available? Remember, the Packers shocked the world and their incumbent quarterback when they drafted Jordan Love at 26. And if and when the Cardinals address their need for a backup to Kyler Murray will be a really strong hit of what they really think of Kyler Murray. All right, today's Bickley Blast brought to you by my great friends at Chapman BMW who make luxury attainable. Find them online at chapmanbmw.com. Each year I've seen uh, a step change in terms of his growth, and this year you know, it was a little bit different because he was coming back from that injury. But as soon as he stepped on the field, the team rallied around him, and you saw what he did. And you look at our production on offense. You know, I, we, we went from a, a, a good running game team to I think we were – top five in the league mm -hmm. after he stepped onto the field for those last eight games. So scoring went up, uh, the ability to control the ball. Um, he just brought a confidence level and a, a leadership to the, to the offense and to the, the, to the entire team uh, that I think was palpable. That was Cardinals owner Michael Bidwell, part of uh, Newsmakers Week last Friday here on Bickley and Murata Mornings, talking about what he has seen from Kyler Murray. We you know, heard the comments earlier in the week from Monty Austin Ford on how impressed he was mm -hmm. with Kyler Murray and really what Kyler did in those last four games. So that makes... And all that could be true. It, it could be true, yeah. but it, it like, you can't ignore this kind of stuff anymore in, in, in today's social media climate that the Cardinals yesterday just randomly put out a, a graphic of Kyler Murray for no reason. Mm -hmm. It wasn't his birthday. It wasn't anything like that. It, was just, <laughs> it wasn't Kyler Murray Appreciation yeah, Day. here's our starting quarterback. It wasn't quarterback. Love Your Diminutive Quarterback Day. It wasn't any of those things. No. It was a Monday. It was a Monday. That's right. And um, and 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 we played sound bites from the ESPN's morning show that, that they're reading this as a cue, and the way it hit the rest of the NFL, it, it's really, really funny like there was one person who responded with a with a photo of the cliff kingsbury affirmation mm -hmm. of josh rosen josh is our guy yeah, right and the response was i am familiar with your game <laughs> it's really a no-win situation in a way mm -hmm. if they don't say anything why aren't they supporting kyler murray going into the draft or the and well, if they they say, don't, you don't need to support him. You've supported him with your with with a with a contract. The timing of it is what make the why of it is what well, makes people kind of go. And the only way it's a win for the Cardinals and their their social media team is if and, and this came up in the Rush Hour reboot. Mm -hmm. It was a troll. It was a response to the reports <laughs> out there uh -huh. that the Cardinals are doing diligence on some I of the quarterbacks and, in this yeah, draft. Right now, right. the easy way out of it for the social media team is today they post a picture of James Conner. Our, That's our franchise running, running back, back. Yeah, franchise right. running back, or, RB one, you or, know or that maybe, kind of thing. Or maybe they j did this just to kind of give a uh, Kyler a mwah, like, dude, just so you know, here we're gonna put this out here. You know what I mean? It's like people on Facebook putting a post how much they love their spouse. <laughs> well, oh, you don't it, need to share it with the world, but you're doing it for a reason. Well, that's true, and it's always legitimate. Now, the <sighs> the. Uh, I'd like to start off this sports kebab by wishing my wife a birthday. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now, I, now, when I do it, when I do it, it's she doesn't listen you, to the sports kebab. Happy the, birthday, Bennett, who definitely the, you, doesn't listen no, to the show. Doesn't. Right, exactly. The, the, you are the say happy birthday. You are the cornball. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday for my reason for getting up every morning. <laughs> Food. 
Thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's true. Happy birthday, burrito. Now, um, the, the, the post, though, is in line with everything Jonathan Gannon, Monty Austin Ford, and Michael Bidwell have said the entire offseason. Right. There hasn't been any cracks in their facade of we support and love and, love and want Kyler Murray. So there really is no reason to read anything into this other than you can read something into anything. Yeah. And because well, of the listen, Josh Rosen But post, But again, it, again, like I said at the end of the blast, what you really need to be – You'll you'll know a lot more about if there's any validity to this or if there's a, what their what their real commitment is to Kyler Murray. If they if they allocate a high leverage draft pick in pursuit of a backup quarterback, just like the Jordan Love element in Green Bay, that might be a cue that mm-hmm. Kyler Murray's their guy for 2024, but not necessarily beyond. And in fact, I think I've heard a promo where that's where Gambo is at. That that that's where the commitment to, from the Cardinals lies. To 2024, not for the all of the future, for 2024. Popular guy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the volume off this thing. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> Stop texting me, Greg. Someone, <laughs> someone, get us a Generation Z person in here. To help. <laughs> but so, you really could make things difficult by calling Bickley right now. <laughs> I told you <laughs> that, would be, that would be worse. <laughs> um, if the commitment is only for 2024, <laughs> with all the needs on this team mm-hmm. to use draft capital on a quarterback of the future right now for a four win football team would not be foolish. It would not be prudent. It would be foolish. It would be foolish. Now, the Green That's Bay right. Packers were in a much different situation Definitely. when they did that. Definitely. And so, and again, but I, and again, I'm not saying it's likely, but I'm just saying it's something I'd watch for because that would be the cue. The cue that, okay, we've got a guy that can get us through one more year, but this is really not our guy. We need to get a more traditional, bigger pocket passer. That That's 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 what's going to be interesting. Yeah, but you know what? I'll say this then. If, if that is indeed the Cardinal stance and the commitments for 2024, then move off of him now. Start the future now. I think, again, I think it's a step backwards. I don't think Jonathan Gannon and Drew Petzing and Monty Austinfort want to go into year two with a rookie starting quarterback. No. To stunt the growth that they may have accomplished at the right. end of last year. That's and how right. often are you going to have a top four pick in the draft in the future? Monty Austin mm. said never again right. on this so, show. That's right. You don't want to look for your next f- franchise quarterback with, like, the 18th pick. But Steve Keim also told us that back in 2019. Well. Yeah, it's nice to have number one. We never want it again. Yeah. And mm-hmm. now you never want to be there. No. No. So uh, interesting. Again, I really, I think Kyler Murray, uh, the toughness that he showed, the resilience, the 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 ability to want to play football, to finish games, to not want to come out of games. I, I think he took. I think he did a lot of good things. I think he took some big steps forward. But in in this particular situation, with the draft coming up, look, we this is this is a brand new deal. It's a brand new day for the Cardinals. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.